it's Nina, Warthog Princess. Welcome to another video. This video will be a Stephanie Dawn haul from their most recent online outlet sale, which took place earlier in May. I ordered and I left on a trip, and when I got back, my package was waiting for me. So, yay, SD mail. I'm always fun to get packages on your return to welcome you home. And here you go. The first item I got was a lip balm keeper. This is in the Patriotic Paisley pattern, it's red, white, and blue. And all this is, it just is a metallic thing here with a clip on it, so you can use it as a bag, charm, a keychain, whatever. And you just slip your chapstick right into it. And they work really, really well. I love them, I have several already. Um, and since it's Memorial Day weekend right now, you may or may not see this item again soon for what's in my bag. We'll see how the day goes, but anyway, there you go. Then the next item I got is a eyeglass case. This is a standard eyeglass case. It's quilted and soft. And this pattern is mosaic. It's um, sort of a medallion pattern with geometric repeating. And then one thing I really like about Stephanie Dawn is that they do have the coordinating trims, just like Vera used to have for like forever. It's one of the things that drew me in was those details. Um, and they, they have come back to it on Vera's side and they're going away again. I don't really know, um, but they're not consistent. So I do like when I see them. It just gives it more personality and a little different. Yeah, I like the details. <laughs> the inside of this is the same as the ex exterior pattern. But Stephanie Dawn is all made in the U.S., which I really, really like about them. And if you're a fan of Stephanie Dawn, by all means, go and subscribe to their YouTube channel. They do have their own channel. And if you want to find it, just look up Stephanie Dawn handbags and you can find it and subscribe. While you're signing up for things, you can also go to stephaniedawn.net and sign up for emails so that they, they can notify you of the sales coming up. So I can tell you right now that some of the sales they have, they have a lot of different kinds. They have the pop-up shops, which are periodically available that allow you to do some reach back to older patterns that are maybe retired, but they still have some stock in them. Um, so you may be able to catch some items such as this, that is an older pattern. Um, and those are great. Then you also, they have the online outlet sales, they're doing those once a month. The next one will take place June 21st to 27th. And you know, the emails, they'll send you product, um, like recommendations or highlights rather. And if you sign up for the emails, they will send you a one-time 20% off code, which is great. Um, they also have other sales too, not just the online outlet and pop-up shops. They have a current sale going on that's 25% off and it goes from the 28th to the 31st of May. So you never know. So if you sign up for the emails, they'll tell you when a sale is coming and you'll get notified and you can go shop. Um, another way to save is you can use the code from this video, which is WP4SD2115. That's WP like Warthog Princess, the number four, SD for Stephanie Dawn, 21 for 2021, and 15 for 15% off. So there you go. I don't get anything for it, but you get 15% off. So that is great. And always, of course, great to save money anyways. The only thing I will say is if you do sign up for the emails and you get that 20% code, it's one time use, but you cannot stack it with the 15% code because you can only use one code at a time. Um, online, but the code does work with some of the sales. So give it a try and see if that works for you, but you just can't use two codes. So take your pick, use your one time 20% and then next time you can use my code at any time. It doesn't expire. So enjoy. Um, I think that's it for that. All right. So convertible wallet. This is in the pattern mosaic again, and it does have that nice coordinating trim and you can see what they've done here is they've resized and reconfigured that trim, you know, to match the piece size. I think that's really smart how they've done that and they've added these extra flourishes in there. So I think that's really cool. A nice touch for the details again. Um, this is my second convertible wallet. I recently used my Indigo Garden one for the first time. And on that haul, which I'll put a link here to the haul, you can listen to what I was talking about about it. I was saying that, um, you know, Velcro is great. It just wasn't my first choice for a wallet um, type thing. But then I realized you actually, it's a good thing because you know if you just had a snap there, then you don't have any expansion capability. So if you really fill the wallet up, if it doesn't meet the snap, then you can't close it. Um, well, at least not securely. Um, the hidden magnets have a little bit of, of 
give to them. You could add a second snap for another example of way to resize. But the Velcro is, without changing anything, you can just make it a little tighter or a little looser based on where you attach it. So actually, it's a really smart way to give you variable sizing for your wallet straight away. So it, I grew on me for sure, um, and it definitely works that way. So when you open up the wallet, you do have two clear slots down here on the bottom. So when I open it, I open it like a book and they're right there, readily accessible. Right behind that, you have two more slips for more cards and I had those all multiple stacked. You have six slots right down the middle. Again, I had them all double stacked in there. Behind that, you have big slip, coin section, and then another big slip. Um, so that worked out really, really well. I had like my dollars in the front one and I had receipts and other things in the back one. In the back, when you get the wallet, it will have this strap right here. This is, you know, so you can use it as a shoulder or a crossbody. But this one, you can just snap out. It literally has a snap on each end. You know, just a little snap. It's not adjustable as far as, you know, there's no slide adjustment or anything. To make it shorter, you can just tie a knot in it, something like that if you wanted. Um, but there you go, it is completely removable. So when I used it, I actually took it off straight away. I was using it as a wallet slash wristlet. So I did not do that. And I think my phone fits in one of these slots as well. I just never carried it that way. Um, so let me put this back in here. The other thing it has is it has a wristlet strap right here that is currently hooked to the zipper for that coin section, but you can remove it if you want and use it for a keychain or hook it on your zip ID or hook it on something else. I mean, do whatever you want with it, but it is removable. It does have this like pincher type clasp on it. This is a little bit older pattern. So they are changing. Some of the newer items are coming out with a different kind of clasp on them. Still very good. Um, and they all have that swivel as well. Anyway, so I'm gonna put that back on there. And there you go. And then it just Velcros close. There is no exterior slots or anything. Really nice wallet, I really, I really like it. Then the last item that I got for this haul is the zip tote. I think it's so named because it just has a zipper across the top and there it opens. It has a really good size to it. I mean, look at the base of it. It's a good medium sized purse bag. And it has, you know, it's quilted straps that are really nicely padded and a good strap drop. I mean, it's for me just perfect for, you know, put your hand there and you can comfortably wear it even if it's full, it's quite nice. I personally like just a little bit longer strap drop, but I'm a big girl, so I, I don't know. But this, this strap drop is really good for me even. And some bags of this sort have like a, a hardware here so that when you lay it down, the straps will lay flat against the bag. I don't think that's super important. And I think that as this bag gets used a bit, those straps will lay flatter as they break in a little. Also, you can train them, like you can, you know, steam it or something and just hold it down and kind of train it to lay flat. Not that important for me, like when I set my bag down, I usually put the straps to one side or the other and, and just let it lay like that, so that, that works. So on here, you have, uh, and I don't know which one you call the front or the back, it really doesn't matter. There isn't a tag on it that says one way or the other. Um, but you have two big slips on this side and then on the inside, you also have two big slips. On the opposite side, you have three small slips and the same on the outside, you have three smaller slips. But any one of these should be big enough to hold like my cell phone, I have a 6S Plus. So very nice there. And you can kind of see the medallions in there with the pops of blue and the pinks. And but anyways, I really kind of really like this pattern and I like the bags and I love that they're made in the USA. So there you go. So, more to come. I have a Vera Bradley haul coming up and I also have an unpack with me video to return from my trip and share what y'all have been waiting for, what did make the trip and how did I pack it. <laughs> um, so, more to come. Bye for now, have a great Memorial weekend. Take care.